Israeli forces have once again carried out a despicable act of violence against the repressed Palestinian people. It was all captured on camera. What you are about to see is absolutely horrifying. Inside of Gaza, near the separation fence with Israel, Israeli soldiers shot and killed 27-year-old Mohammed Al-Naim, who was unarmed and defenseless. Israel routinely murders protesters or anyone who comes even close to this fence that cages Palestinians and prevents them from returning to their native land inside of what is now the racist Jewish state of Israel. Mohammed's friends tried to retrieve his body but were shot at and chased away by a bulldozer. This bulldozer then mangled and desecrated the body, holding it up in an act of barbarity and mockery. The Israeli bulldozer then took the body back into Israel, where they will keep it and hold it hostage against the Palestinians. Israeli's Minister of War, Naftali Bennett, has an actual policy to gather as many Palestinian bodies as he can to subdue the Palestinian resistance and use the human remains as bartering pieces. Not only does Muhammad's family not get a chance to say goodbye and have a proper burial, but they are forever traumatized by this horrific murder and desecration of their loved one. His mother, Um Hussein, after watching the video said, I felt every blow on my son's body. They were in my heart. I felt the pain as if I was him. Who is going to raise his son now, she asked. Israel's response, which is typical, is to say that this young man was a terrorist and that he was planting a bomb alongside the fence. First of all, there's absolutely no tangible evidence that this is what happened. But more importantly, it wouldn't matter anyways. This would still not be justified. Palestinians have every right to defend themselves and to liberate themselves from Israeli oppression. Furthermore, the absurdity that only Israel can have armaments alongside the fence, but Palestinians cannot, just further goes to show who has all of the power in this situation of oppressor and oppressed. 